Hi everybody, I'm going to show you all the places to eat on Pensacola Beach. We're going to start at the Toll Bridge and go all the way down Via de Luna, and then we're going to take a look at Fort Pickens Road. So let's get started. Shaggy's. This is a regional chain casual seafood restaurant, but it is easily overlooked due to its location. It's right on the waterfront, and it has an easygoing island vibe, and you cannot miss a perfect sunset on their fun patio with their lights. Frisky Dolphin and Sandbar. You can take your Instagram photo with the cool fish. It's a popular casual seafood and oyster restaurant with a patio. The Grand Marlin, which is a top rated, exceptional and romantic seafood restaurant. It has large windows for great sunset views. Lagunas and the Sandbar. This is an exciting beach bar with lots of added activities available. It has Fat Tuesday frozen drinks, plus an outdoor stage and a large screen for games. It accommodates all ages with a zip line, climbing and ropes course, go-karts, plus parasailing and jet skis. Next, we're gonna take a look at the central area, which is by the boardwalk and by the beach. And we'll start with Nola. This is a well-themed, New Orleans restaurant and is actually one of the few quick service restaurants where you order at the counter, they give you a number and they bring it to your table. Felix is on the boardwalk. It is a well-known oyster bar from the French Quarter. You can get your Sunday brunch and bubbles and they do have rooftop dining. I do see mixed reviews, but it is early with this restaurant. Hooters, the wing fans paradise. It's a sports bar with waterfront views and it is one of the later food options open till 10. Papa's Pizza. Rave worthy New York style pizza plus calzones, and you can get pizza by the slice. Gilwin's Ice Cream and Sweets, a clean and bright hand scoopery with homemade waffle cones. They also do have other sweets like fudge and caramel apples. And new fun is coming with Whiskey Joe's on the end with a beachy bar and restaurant. And Subway, right next to Circle K. best loved places to eat on the island is Flounders. This is a surprising and quirky seafood and sushi restaurant. It has a unique backyard setting with kitschy decor and tons of photo ops like the hippie van. Sideline Sports Bar and Restaurant. It's not much to look at, but they have generous portions of good pub fare and decent prices. UFO's Mini Golf and Arcade. Yes, they have snacks and treats and a small selection of wine and drinks. Crabs on the Beach. This is a double-decker fresh seafood restaurant with Gulf breezes. This is actually footsteps from the Gulf and has a one-of-a-kind beachside patio with music and they do have a kid's playground. The Dock. This is a super casual flip-flop and bikini beachside bar for every beachgoer. There is bar food and a great happy hour. Bougie like PBR and french fries. The Snack Bar, a quick grab and go snacks plus simple food and drinks on the beach. Casino Beach Bar and Grill. This is a fun foodie type of restaurant with handcrafted cocktails and trendy seafood options. It has one of the best patios on the Gulf and it does have Drift a Restaurant Upstairs which is an upscale restaurant for special occasions with an amazing view. Redfish Bluefish, which is a popular, lively seafood restaurant with a great outdoor atmosphere. You can hang out on the patio with the lights and games. Water Pig Barbecue. This is a top-notch barbecue joint. This has the cutest outdoor scene on the waterfront. The Ice Cream Shop. Lots of yummy treats and ice cream. The Shrimp Basket. This is an ultra-casual restaurant with large portion basket style food. So they have fried and grilled seafood and lots of sides. Paradise Bar and Grill. This is a local's favorite with unexpected delight. It's such a cute little outdoor scene and it's a great spot to watch the sunset. Nehemiah. A little beach cafe with anything but little burritos. They have American food, bubble tea and coffee and they serve breakfast, lunch and dinner. Cafe Bistro. This is a very welcoming cafe and is known for their breakfast, their sweets, and their lunch. They also have a very unexpected wine list. The Native Cafe. 
which is a weight-worthy local love with locally made sauces and salsas and lots of yummy food. The Reef. Burger Bregan Quick Bites Cafe with wings and subs. And across the way at the Holiday Inn is Riptide's Casual Surf Grill and Tiki Bar with indoor and outdoor seating. And they have fun foods like chicken fingers, wraps, pizza, and gluten-free bread options. At the Hilton, we do have a coffee bar, a restaurant H2O, which is known for its breakfast buffet and brunch. And upstairs, we have Bonsai Sushi. Next, we'll head down Fort Pickens Road. First up is Landshark Landing. This is an open air seasonal beach bar and grill. And it's a really, really fun place to get a drink and listen to music. Peg Leg Pete's. This is probably the most popular restaurant with locals and tourists. It has delicious food. It's an unforgettable experience and great atmosphere. If you have to wait for your table, it's gonna be worth it. Head down to the underwear bar and grab a drink. And there are more restaurant options over on Gulf Breeze. So if you want to door dash it, or maybe if you have a car or are willing to get a Lyft or Uber, you can find other options like Chick-fil-A, Dairy Queen, McDonald's, Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, Whataburger, Jersey Mike's, just to name a few. All right, thank you for coming along and enjoy your stay on Pensacola Beach.